back to another video in today's episode we're playing some more Fallout 3 and today's episode we're continuing with the quest Scientific Pure Switz. and in this quest we must get an entrance to River City but we already have because we've discovered it in another episode as you can see it's right here so we don't need to walk all the way there from Galaxy News Radio but um and before I start this episode I just want to mention I've got three new weapons Lincoln's Repeater Sydney's 10mm Ultra SMG and Butelbo Shotgun and I'll link all of those guides down in the description below if you want to check them out but yeah um, I've still got dog meat with me and oh yeah so we're just gonna go walk straight inside um, Rivet City this is where we got that um, plasma rifle didn't we I don't use it that much because we can't really get ammo for it, but yeah, we need to come here to the science lab and talk to Dr. Lee about that. And then come through here. And we need to walk down these steps here and talk to Dr. Lee. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? You know my father? Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me, this has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. Well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Uh, let's talk about something else. Okay. I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. I'm sorry, could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. I've been to Project Purity. He wasn't there. Well, I know he was going there. Perhaps there's some indication of what he was up to. Did you find any notes? James was always taking notes. Recordings, holotapes, that sort of thing. Go back and search for something like that, if you're so determined. I have to go now. Good luck finding your father. Don't yeah, so we've already been to the Jefferson Memorial, and I've killed every enemy inside it, and all the creatures and stuff. But I haven't picked up the holotip, so I need to go there and do that right now. Everything looks okay here. Yeah, when we make it there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the holotapes for you, so you can listen to the story and stuff like that. Why it's gonna fast travel there right now. The 
as soon as I enter it, there's always like a massive pile of body parts just dropped straight onto the floor. Uh, well, I'm just gonna go inside anyway. And we're gonna go inside here. Because I've killed every enemy. There's no trouble getting this. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Brawn's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills. And it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Okay, so from that holotape, we'll be going to Vault 112. And as you can see, gain access to Vault 112. And luckily, we've been to Evergreen Mills, so we can fast travel there, and it'll be pretty close. Damn, my guy. I'm gonna get some power armor pretty soon after we've um, done some of the story. There we are. I'm gonna tear your fucking throat. Damn. Oh, I'll tear your heart. There we are. That is how you deal with them. I'm just gonna go straight out here. Hopefully we don't get seen. There's a massive super mutant in there, but I can't take him out. Because that's just gonna be a waste of ammo. Considering he's trapped and can't get to me. That was close. Yeah, let's just keep moving. Yeah, when I get there, I'm not going to spell too much, but there is a simulation that you do. But let's be real, there's nothing to spoil. It's been out for nearly 10 years. Oh, it's a merchant. Might as well trade some stuff pretty quick. Welcome, welcome! My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. I'm here to buy. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Alright, three stim packs. I uh, wouldn't need any combat. A pleasure armor. doing business with you. Walk well, friend. Yeah, let's just get up here, right here. And we'll just be going like straight around the massive canyon that um, Evergreen Mills is in. So while I'm walking there, I might as well play some of the hollow tips. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault -like facility after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. 
it was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltech's social preservation program and his work on something called GEC, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Alright, I'll play the other one for you. We're pretty close to the garage anyway. To be honest, the GEC sounded like pure fantasy. Even oh! someone the it was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. Not only was the panel in beauty, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. Case okay, Ray at Smith Case's garage. So we'll just walk inside. Genius, Project Purity would become a reality. Guess okay, some records here. We'll loot the place before we go down. Alright, so there's... Hold on, some stim packs on here. Oh! Whoa, that scared me. That actually did scare me. Whoa. Did you see that? That actually made me jump. Like, play that back and... Damn. Okay, so we are here in Vault 112. We'll go deeper down into the vault right now, so we'll just go and open it. Yeah, let's close it again. Okay, so we'll just um, go straight in. Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, 
Please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned tranquility lounger. Alright, so we're gonna put on the vault suit. So we'll see who's unoccupied. All right, so we'll go in this one. That's broken. So I think it's this one, yeah. And we need to go in this one. So this is the simulation. We're going to enter right here, guys. Okay, so we're getting ready. Whoa. Okay, so dog meat is waiting for us outside. That's all right to hear. Oh, we're in this simulation. All right. Let's go and talk to whoever's over here. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Where am I? This is Tranquility Lane. We all live here, and now, so do you. Sure, kid, whatever you say. That's right. It is whatever I say. Boy, you learn fast. Hey, I know. Let's play a fun game. No thanks, games. No games for me. <laughs> you don't get to say no. If I want to play a game, you're going to play. And I want to. Look, kid, I'm not interested in playing games. I said I want to play a game. It's easy. You make Timmy Newsbaum cry. And I'll help you. If you don't... Then I guess you're stuck here. Alright, so we're just gonna ignore her and we're gonna go to the abandoned house. Whoa, we're a kid in this simulation. Alright, it's better be. Yeah, it is. So I think it's. Yeah, there's like a little passcode we have to do. Keemstar. Alright, so I think it's... Alright, so it's radio, glass pincher. Alright, so it's... Glass pincher. No, it's um, radio, glass pincher, garden um, glass pincher, cylinder block, the garden um. Ah, oh. right. So it's broken radio, glass pincher, garden um, glass pincher, cylinder block, garden um, empty bottle. Ah, there we are. Fail safe initialized. Let's go inside. Access Chinese Invasion Program. Initiate Chinese Invasion Failsafe. Right. Program documentation, alright. Alright, um, 
initiate Chinese invasion filter. Whoa, let's go outside. And there goes um, the Chinese invasion. Whoa. Um. What you've done, you've triggered the failsafe. I don't really care. Ruined He's got everything. The subject's dead. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. I'm calling the shots now. You? No, I. I am the creator of this world. Feels so lost, so all alone. Tell me about the Gek. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming, for restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology, and ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? I have to go now. Run along now! I'm gonna leave the same direction. Son, Look you've saved me. I was afraid oh, I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. Uh, what did you learn? I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Yes, with what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. I have to go, Dad. Be careful, my son. Okay, so we just completed the quest Tranquility Lane. And we've just found Dad as well, so we'll be able to get Project Purity working. So that's all for today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.